All right. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Friends and acquaintances and strangers to Ben's Backyard. <laughs> Insert theme song here. Are we going to have a theme song? Yeah, we are. So this is a show about animals that live in your backyard. This is not my backyard. It's a, it's a nice backyard. It's my parents' backyard. I'm here with my sister, Allie. Hi, Allie. Hello. She said hello. Could you hear that? I don't know. I'm here with my sister, Allie, in a backyard. And the point of this show is... No, that's not the right way to say this. Wrap it up. <laughs> so, animals... Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The reason I'm doing this show, this short, stupid show that may or may not continue past one episode, is that I think that the animals that live in our backyard, the animals that live in this backyard, I'm in Wisconsin right now, season one, season one, Wisconsin, are just as interesting as the animals you pay to go see at the zoo. It's important to be aware of the animals that live around you and to learn about what they do. You don't just squish them. You don't just squish them. They're just as fascinating as you are. So here we are. The first animal we're going to talk about is um sorry. Silverfish. Silverfish. Um okay, so here's the thing about Ben's backyard. I'm vain enough to try to make a YouTube channel about myself, but not vain enough to do it sober. So, <laughs> so, so, so cheers to that. But I really do. I care about animals that are in our backyard, and I think that it's important that we develop a healthy interest in them. And I have a healthy interest in them. I'm not an expert by any means. Most of the things I'm going to say are probably wrong, but I'm going to fact check myself. Sober. Soberly. I'm going to make my sister do it, not the sister who's helping me tonight but the other sister who's a little bit nerdier, Mother Goose will fact check. Because it's an animal, Mother Goose will fact check. Anyway, Ben's Backyard, uh, Silverfish. So this episode is about silverfish slash house centipedes because people confuse them. Wait, are they bugs? Yeah. They're not fish. They're all bugs, they're not fish. <laughs> oh, cute, Allie, that's a funny joke. <laughs> Keep drinking your beer. Most of you probably have a reaction to that name, Silverfish. Most of you probably don't like silverfish. Most of the people I know... Wait a minute, I've never heard of silverfish. Most of the people I know who <laughs> who hear the word silverfish think of house centipedes. That's not a silverfish. They're, so there are these bugs that have a billion legs, you know, like centipedes do. That's what people call silverfish. Those aren't silverfish. Silverfish have less legs than that. They've got only a few. Yeah, I'm gonna need the fact checker. Not you. Turns out two different kinds of bugs. Very close in like the tree of life, but house centipedes have a lot more legs. <laughs> That's the main difference. They're called silverfish because they're like kind of silver and shiny. So when they move around and they can move pretty fast, they glint like fish glint in the water. Do they have gills? They don't have gills. We're talking, that's snails. I meant the wrong one. We're, you're talking about snails. We're not talking about yeah. snails yet. I don't have a section for silverfish. Well, why do I even have this then? <laughs> <laughs> she just dropped my laptop on the ground. We got to keep talking about silverfish because we got to fill the time. We got to fill the time. Sorry. Isn't that interesting, though, that some snails have gills and some don't? It's interesting, but confusing to the audience. I have to pee. And probably we should order a pizza. I'll do that. You go pee, I'll order the pizza. We're ordering a Fat pizza. Pizza. Two larges is probably fine. Too much. Two mediums. Two mediums. Let's talk about house centipedes first. They like humidity, so they're often in your bathroom or your basement. And they can live up to... <laughs> I don't know the number. They can live probably like five years or so. And they can move really fast. And actually you can tell how old a house centipede is by how many legs it has. 
which you can't say the same thing for people. <laughs> she liked that. It wasn't that funny, but she liked it. It's like the classic bug to be afraid of, the classic bug to like jump up on the table on and like squish or ask someone who is capable of squishing to squish. But they're really cool. They're actually kind of carnivores. Is that the right word? Carnivores? Can you call a bug a carnivore? But they definitely eat more than plants. They eat other bugs and other little things. Let's put up an image of a, a silverfish. No, no, we're talking about house centipedes. They've got lots of legs. Well, we don't know what that looks like. Well, now you do. <laughs> so the other week when I was home visiting, <laughs> I took a shower and I for, had forgotten forgotten to bring, yes, I had forgotten to bring a towel into the bathroom and so I decided I would use my sister's towel because it was, that's not like that bad to do, to use someone else's Agreed. towel. Yes, she agrees. Overrated. She doesn't care. You've already cleaned yourself. You're clean. And as I removed the towel from myself, I noticed that there was a house centipede on my person just crawling around my body. Where? Like right and I just kind of brushed it off and let it walk away. Anyway, the point of the story is it's kind of like the classic gross bug to live in your house. Right? Yeah. Because they got lots of legs. Yeah. It has a lot of legs. It's got a lot of freaking legs. And people think it's gross. And it can move like, like half a meter in a second, like across the room, dart across the room. That's why people are scared of them because they're like... Pfft. But anyway, they're like... Here's the purpose of Ben's backyard, <laughs> is people are disgusted by house centipedes. But did you know that house centipedes have like an elaborate courtship dance that they do? You didn't. But Ben, we're not talking about house centipedes. We're talking about silverfish. Oh. <laughs> silverfish live even longer than house centipedes. And so they like, they'll come up and meet each other and have their little silverfish antenna and be like, oh look, there's someone I might be into. They run around each other and just like circle each other for a while. It's a, it's a whole like dance thing. And then they mate. But these things live for like five years at least. And like, isn't that, doesn't that just blow your mind? Something that you like see in your basement or your bathroom and you're like, I just wanna squish that. But that's something that's, could have lived to be five years old. And it's a little bug. People know more about house centipedes or are more aware of house centipedes probably because they're creepier and they have more legs. What do you mean creepier? Because they've got a lot of legs. Oh. Like up to 18 pairs of legs. That Fact check that. <laughs> I'm going to need a little blurb to come up to fact check me. In conclusion, I have to conclude the silverfish says my sister. Ah, what do I have to say about them? People think that house centipede... People think that house center... Um, fascinating bugs. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff I didn't talk about that I know about silverfish. I'll come back to them. Episode two, silverfish. <laughs> the point is, even a little bug that you think is the most disgusting creature that you've ever seen has like a half decade of life experience and has evolved just about as long as we have to be what it is. It's just as complicated as we are. We can just make f creepy YouTube videos about them. There it is. Ben's backyard. <laughs> What's in my next animal? Oh, you have a new video? Yeah. Episode two. No. Ben, do one more. What's the least favorite of them? Well, if you like Ben's backyard, <laughs> tell me so, so that I will make more. Otherwise, goodbye forever.